Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to talk about all of the ways to edit your photos within We Create Make It 3.0. I noticed a lot of people updating recently and a lot of questions about editing your photos on here. So we're going to talk about this entire Photos tab after you click on your photo and where you can expect to get your items at for this, because some people are saying content is missing. There is no content that's missing here. They're just in different areas than you're used to. So first up, we're going to click on edit image. So in the edit image section, all this is mainly used for is like erasing your background. So you can automatically do it with this little magic wand by clicking on the blue areas and you can get rid of like the sky or you can click on the actual eraser tool and you can get in a little bit more finer details and manually erase by yourself. And then you have the crop tool where you could just crop out like the entire person by going like this and cropping. I'm going to go ahead and undo all that so we can get to the next thing. But that is all that the edit image button does here. It's mainly for getting rid of the backgrounds here. Then you have image processing. So this is so you can do different styles of engraving. So by default, it's on Jarvis. It kind of has this pixelated look here. You can change sharpness, contrast, brightness. Um, and then you have filters here. So you have different filters that you can select here. Um, and you can do this on the next screen as well. A lot of people don't know where the invert is, but you have the option to invert in here. And I'm going to show you that on the next screen too, where if you're looking just for invert, but not to uh, change like the image algorithm, uh, we're going to see that next. But the image algorithm, you have all of these different features. So if you want to grayscale it, so you don't want it to be pixelated at all. It'll just be a grayscale image. So like black and white, but turn to gray. And then you have this Atkinson, which is kind of like a pixelated image too. And this is just changing like different dot densities and colors. And then you can change your line density in here and make it more grainy or less grainy. Um, and you can do that for any of these different modes. So you can select a mode that works best for you. And then you can try these out and print in different styles um, on your material and see what works best for now. We're going to hit cancel and then um, you have this stretch option and uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can change like the different um, things like you could in image in processing. So I'm going to leave that up to you. And then you have this one right here. This is where your invert is. So under filters, you can click the no content option and then choose invert. Um, and you can do like all of these individually. So you don't have to go into image processing because image processing basically has all three of these built into that one button. But if you want them individually, this is where people were looking for it individually. You can click invert and you get, that's all you need to do is right there is your invert button. That was the main one that was comes up very often that you're looking for. And then you can go through and you can switch to like comic um you can stretch it you can do whatever works best for you here um and then we can go back to no content here to make it back to colored but that's pretty much it i know this is a super focused video but i wanted to answer those guys questions on where this uh invert button went to and how to edit images within the we create space for 3.0